Okay, today we're going to show you how to change a fog light in a Land Rover Discovery 3. Okay, so a couple of things. So this is a, an aftermarket fog lamp and we've got these available on the website. They do get damaged because of their position. The glass often gets cracked. So this process applies whether you're swapping it for an aftermarket or a genuine one. Um, on the later models, the left and the right fog lamps were the same, but on the early models, if you look here, you can see that they slope one way. So clearly the left and the right fog lamp are different. Okay, so let's go through how to change it. So the fog lamp, this bezel is separate. There's a little finger hole at the top. You can put your finger in there and pull this bezel, assembly, out of the bumper. So you see it's got these little spring clips here, okay? And that's, that's the bezel. And then it exposes the, uh, the main mechanics there of the fog lamp. So we've got a Torx T20 screwdriver here. Um, and if we undo, now all the three screws are the same in the same length. You really don't want to drop them if you can help it. I'll try not to do that. So that's it's a little self-tapping Torx head screw. So there's three of those in here. Okay. Okay, it's the second one again, it's the same. Third one, where's he going? One, two, there he is, he's at the So they're roughly in the two o'clock, the four o'clock and the nine o'clock positions as you look at them. And obviously that'll be the opposite on the on the other side of the car. But the process is exactly the same on the other side. Now this process could also be used if you need to change the fog light bulb. So that's the rear. Now this, this here is the adjuster. So you can actually adjust it without taking the fog lamp out. If you put a crosshead screwdriver here, it adjusts the, the silver bit inside can move up or down. So you can actually adjust your fog light beam aim if you need it more on the road or, or higher up. That's something you can do. Okay. Now the bulb, that's, that's how the bulb twists out. Now careful not to touch the glass component of the bulb. And if you want to separate the bulb from the connector, you need to press this little tab in here, okay, like so, and pull. Now it's got a rubber seal inside to make the connection waterproof, so it, it, it can be a little bit tricky. So that's the bulb. So that's a, a H11 bulb there. Okay, we do sell uprated uprated bulbs on the on the website um, if you want to so that's so that's your components okay so when you refit the the bulb okay when you refit the lamp it's got writing on it obviously the writing is in the correct way up and the, the fog lamp connector always points down okay right um, and if I just show you there that's the um, that's the reproduction lamp versus the genuine one so you can see there um, they're very good replacement lamps. Um, so, yeah, good luck with that. It, it's simple enough to put back to put back together again.